What's up, comic fam, comic fans, and it is time for our new comic book day preview. So we're going to get into those books, we're going to get into the spec books, we're going to discover what's coming out this week right after this. Bartons, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. Let's get into the spec books. I got three plus one bonus books, so let's take a look. First off, we got Aquaman Becoming. All right, I'm gonna look at this book. There's like one new appearance in this book, one first appearance. But this is a, a new limited series, and you never know these uh, characters these young characters always seem to blow up we've seen it with marvel we've seen it with their guys so why not take a shot at aquaman the becoming all right next up we're going to look at suicide squad king shark try saying that five times fast all right and this was uh there was a preview that came out for free comic book day but this is the full book written by uh, Tim Seeley and I really like the variant covers okay you got a Ricardo Federici cover this is just cover B so I think this cover is it's cool it's definitely worth a pickup <laughs> and uh, in case you want something a little bit more special We've got the one in 25, which doesn't seem to be going crazy right now. Looks like you can attain it for a decent price on eBay. All right. And uh, what we have here is the first appearance of Queen Tiger, the first appearance of King Roach, first appearance of Prince Nematode, the first appearance of Princess Peregrine, and the first appearance of Man King, plus the reintroduction of King Shark's father. So there's a lot going on in this book. Definitely, I think, worth a pull. And like I said, it hasn't exploded on the market yet. Next up, we got the United States of Captain America number four. I think this character, this cover is just dope, right? And so when you get covers that look like this, if the character matches any of this, this vibe that they're putting out, I think this book could turn into something you never know this is a long-term spec i'm going to put here because you don't know if this character is going to become anything big in the future there is a variant cover design variant cover character looks very different in the design variant cover all right but still i think a pretty dope character not as not as vicious on the uh on that one there's a peach momoko cover too right so pretty awesome whole bunch of stuff there <clears throat> but what we have is the first appearance of Ari Agbayani a Filipino American hero all right so like I said that cover a just looks really really dope all right we're gonna keep moving on we're gonna get to the next and final book this was a bonus I threw in there but we got Moon Knight number three three and this is the first full appearance of hunter's moon and you got there right there on the cover says beware the rise of hunter's moon moon knight right now a lot of people seem to really be digging this character he's got the show coming so why not take a chance on this All right and you got a first appearance of the villain hunter's moon and uh yeah that's why i threw this on the list here are a couple of variant covers and so guys those are the spec books all right aquaman becoming moon knight number three suicide squad king shark number one and captain america united states of captain america number four okay let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week we're gonna start off with image all right you got Frontiers Man number one. This is a new book. This one seems to be drawing some heat too. Definitely worth a pickup. Looks like issue one has a wraparound cover. So that's pretty cool. What do we got going on here? Looks like a badger in some kind of mech tree suit. 
not quite sure what's going on back there. But that looks like it could be a really fun series. All right, what else do we got? Gideon Falls is gonna get a hardcover. Deluxe Edition, Philadelphia number 17 is coming out. That's a really great series. King Spawn number two will also be coming out this week. As usual, they have a cover A, B, and C. All right, uh, Sweet Paprika continues on. Noctera number six gets a second print. Noctera is a really good series if you haven't checked it out by Scott Snyder. Definitely worth a pickup. Radiant Black number seven gets a second print. This is like a new age Power Rangers, it looks like. I haven't quite caught up to the series yet, but uh, I'm a few issues in. But that's what it looks like. What else do we have here? Stillwater number 10 is out. Stillwater is a really good series by Chip Chip Zdarsky. I would definitely recommend jumping on that if you can. I think there's a trade out already for the first five issues. Definitely worth a read if you can get it. And then you got That Texas Blood, which is also another very well written, great art book that's out right now by Chris Condone and uh, Jacob Phillips. I recommend that. Volume 2 to me is way superior to Volume 1. And then you got Vinyl number 4 of 6. I've heard people say this is a very wacky book. I read the first issue and I need to catch up, but the first issue definitely sucked me into Vinyl. Alright, we got Dark Horse. And uh, you got Black Hammer Visions, 8 of 8. It's coming to an end for you Black Hammer fans. I know there's a lot of you out there. All right, North Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Number 4, 6 is out. Harold County is out. And that's another one that there's a lot of fans of that book out there. All right, we're at IDW. All right, you got some G.I. Joe. What else? Vader's Castle, Dawn of the Droids. This is a Frank or a Francisco Francavelli cover. He does really good work. And that's cover A to number one. It's Star Wars. It's Vader. Why not? And the last Ronin number four or five is out. All right. So if you haven't been reading the last Ronin, that is also definitely worth a read, all right, and then you got some Transformers for you Transformer heads out there. DC, here we go, DC. Aquaman, The Becoming is out. You saw cover A, let's look at cover B. He looks a lot more fierce on cover B. Which cover to get? I'm gonna go with cover A. And then uh, maybe I'll get the Kari Randolph cardstock at another time, if it's still available. I love Kari Randolph's art. Just sometimes I find it a little hard to pay that extra dollar for that cardstock. All right, what else we got? There's Batman Secret Files, Miracle Molly number one. That's our origin book right there. So if you're into origins, get that. You got Batman versus Big B, A Wolf in Gotham number one of six. So if you're worried that uh, fairy tale, um, ooh, I forget the name of the, the series that Big B comes out of. But based on uh, all those fairy tales. But um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank right now on the series he came out of, which was a really good series too. Ugh, why am I drawing a blank? Anyway, we're gonna keep it moving. But I'm sure you guys out there, if you're familiar with it, you know who Big B is. All right, <clears throat> what else do we have? We have this beautiful Catwoman Number 35, Jenny Frizen cover. Love me some Jenny Frizen. All right. Got to keep the party rolling, 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 rolling. And uh, what else? I don't know. I'm sure there's lots of stuff from DC that people are picking up. But, you know, I'm sticking with what I usually read. Like I said, that Suicide Squad King Shark number one got a plethora of first appearances in it so probably worth a pickup and if you want something just a little cooler you got that Ricardo Federici cardstock cover B 
Alright, we're gonna keep going. And we're at Marvel Comics. Alright, Aliens number seven. I've dropped off the Alien series, but they continue to produce these amazing covers. And so, you know, if you're a cover collector, Alien might be a series you want to look at. All right. Avengers number 47 has a second print variant. All right. And that's because of the World War She-Hulk. You got that red She-Hulk right there on the cover. Daredevil number 33, second print comes out. That's taken right from the interior. Daredevil's an excellent series. We have the death of Doctor Strange. A lot of people are talking about that. They're saying this is a good book. This is issue one of five. Of course, there's four more issues coming out after it, but they're saying number one is definitely a book that's you know fun to read. That's a good read. So there you go. And of course, they have a million covers, five. Um, it's the death of Doctor Strange, and Marvel's really pushing Doctor Strange. It's going to be a big part of the MCU coming going forward. All right. We got Defenders number one of five, the second print variant. I just think this is a cool cover. Kind of harkens back to the old days of covers. So that's pretty cool. What else we got? You got some Fantastic Four. You got some Gamma Flight. Guardians continues on. Spider-Man Clone Saga number 29, second print is there with this kind of new suit deal going on. So that's cool. Moon Knight number three is coming out. And Steve McNiven is killing these covers. Look at that. And that's in a, the style of Jay Lee. All right. What else do we have? Spirit Rider, Ghost of Vengeance. Number one gets a second print. Black and white just sometimes looks so classy. And this is one of those covers that looks really awesome in black and white. All right, and that's Takashi Okazaki on that cover. And you got your Star Wars guys. You got your Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 16. This is a tie-in to War of the Bounty Hunter, which is a really fun series. There's just so many books. Whew, there's a lot to keep up with. All right, you got that Captain America, United States Captain America number four. Um, the cover A, that character right there just on the cover. Wow, that just pops. And then you got the uh, cover B, the design variant. Very cool, very cool. And you got your X-Men books. There's a ton of X-Men books coming out this week, by the way, guys. Just if you love your X-Men, there it is. All right, we're at Dynamite. And again, always a lot of covers coming out of Dynamite. You usually buy a Dynamite book, I think, for the covers. So you got some Barbarella. Some Dynamite Lives covers. Red Sonia. There she is. Vampirella. Ton of covers. Boom Studios. Here comes the boom. Ready or not. Dark Blood number two gets a second printing. And Dark Blood number three is out. Boom just likes to print a ton of covers. I read Dark Blood 1. I thought it was pretty good. Gotta catch up on that series too. So many good books out there. Eat the Rich number 2 of 5 is coming out. I really like that series, guys. So right here, I'm just going to subscribe to it. I'm going to hit that subscribe button. And boom. All right. And I am now subscribed to Eat the Rich. All right, and now I'm subscribed to Eat the Rich, and I'm gonna get it from my local comic shop. All right, let's go back. What else do we have? Once in Future, number 20 is out. I love Dan Moore's art on that, and Kieran Gillen's killing the writing. All right, guys, we're down to the last bit of books coming out this week. Let's try to get through them without too much Hullabaloo. I don't know what hullabaloo means, but whatever. We got Bunny Mask number four. A lot of people seem to read and reading that and enjoying it. You got Action Lab Entertainment Citizen number one. I've heard some buzz over that, so that might be worth checking out, all right? Cold Dead War. A lot of people seem to like this cover. This is a second printing cover. I don't know why they would like that cover. 
All right. <laughs> We're going to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, keep it moving. Ah. All right. Lots of other books coming out. Lots of Dynamic Force stuff coming out. We're going to try to get this in under 20 minutes, folks. Yeah, thank you for sticking with me. And again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up if you like the content. And comment down below. Tell me if I missed anything. He Who Fights With Monsters. I've heard about this book, too. There are a lot of covers, though, for this book. So this might just be a read more than a, a buy for spec because... Um, there's going to be a lot of issues of that printed. I don't know how many, but if there's four covers, I think there's going to be a decent amount print count out there. Okay. Um, let me know if I'm missing anything, guys. All right. I know uh, MFKZ, people reading that, and they like that. And uh, here we go. We're getting close to the end. We are so close. I can smell it like old comics we are that close to the end all right hopefully i didn't miss anything and we should be really close Where the w's boom there we go so those are all the new comics coming out this week that's the preview of all the comics hopefully i'm helping you to make an informed decision about what you want to pick up this week so comic fan comic fans don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below so we can talk about the books coming out this week. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get some new books. Peace.